Okay, so we got into the entrance. It's 94 reales per per person and then 20 for the van. So it came out to about 200 reales. So 20 bucks a person, 40 bucks in total, a little more with the van. 45 bucks. And we're headed back to the canyons we're going through the park right now so pretty excited we saw some billboards and it looks impressive we'll see yeah now we think these tickets are good for is it seven days they're good for seven and days they and multiple cover, parks yeah different parks in the area and definitely another park we plan on taking you to so 45 dollars for at least two parks can see there's some of these beautiful monkey trees at the entrance snows on the way she's got the wind at her back and the downhill run she's going for it the beard moss means the air is clean <laughs> so i'm pedro this is Rafa, my wife Hi. this is josie uh Hafa's wife i mean <laughs> one wife one wife for Hafa. <laughs> And you guys are ready to travel through Argentina and through South America. Yeah, we are planning to do that. All right, super cool, super cool. So nice to meet you guys. And you you built the van yourself? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And on our YouTube channel, it tells you how he built it. Okay. So he shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a van tour, how to build it, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did, but we never dreamed we never even thought about doing it in a van like living in a yeah, van we or... just it was the way we could do it sooner because it's you know it's more affordable than flying all over yes. and staying in hotels mm -hmm. so we sold everything we own our house our cars everything. everything we sold everything that is our home okay everything we yeah. own is in that van so and yeah. we, we just met some really cool people from brazil they were awesome welcomed us here and now we are going on this little hike. All right, this first trail is a kilometer and a half. Snow says it's easy and once you can do. I can tell you the wind is picking up, but there's a little sign on the thing that says there's snakes here. So she's all paranoid. It looks like we're coming up to the canyon. We're approaching it right now. I'm getting, getting excited, guys. Wow, look at that sheer drop off. And as you can see right here, we're right on the top of a waterfall. So a river comes down and drops. You really don't have a position to see it. But look at the vastness of this canyon and these sheer walls. And of course on top they have the alicaria trees. And uh, we're still looking for some bluebirds. The canyon that starts with an eye. And it's not the largest canyon in the region, but it has a very special feature that is so steep. 720 meters almost straight down of strongly embedded rock. It is a pretty darn straight wall right there. It's Hayam Bazino. Hayam Bazino. We'll have to keep an eye out for those bluebirds. We're walking through a nice treed in area. That's a pretty vegetation. But just on the other side of the tree line, you can hear the wind whistling through the canyon that we just saw. So we're walking right along the rim of that canyon. And I'm pretty sure we'll get another view of it up here. You can see it much better here, Kurt. Wow. Oh, there's an amazing waterfall in the back. From the first viewpoint, we could kind of see the sheer walls, but from this viewpoint, 
we can actually see down the canyon and you can see that magical waterfall cascada at the end there kind of a long veil that scatters out through the sheer cliffs and it's simply beautiful and then down at the bottom of the canyon you can see the river kind of winding through there and we can see all sorts of leaves that have fallen off of these trees kind of just floating drifting downward and some of them actually catch the wind and go up and then go back down but it's a just a beautiful viewpoint there's like sidewalks or stone sidewalks so the trail is in really good shape not even sure if i'd call it a trail but we're just kind of walking along the rim of this canyon right here there's benches so like benches, i don't even have to sit on all of them <laughs> i can skip some all right if you look below us there's a little trail right around the corner here so i think we can go down that but an interesting note is this is sort of where this slice of the canyon begins. Now you'd think there'd be some sort of river or waterfall right here in front of us. And I don't know, maybe it's disappeared over time, but we have another look, big look at that waterfall down the canyon. Totally stunning. Kurt is behind me getting a shot of those cool condors flying and playing in the wind in the canyon. It looks like there's one more mirador at the end of this trail. Might get a little bit better view of the waterfall. Now, I'm starting to get tired and there's some stairs. But I think I'm gonna try it. All right, so I stumbled up on a little hidden trail back here on the back side of the canyon. So we're sneaking around here. There's a couple condors buzzing around. See if we can get a shot of those. But anyway, these trees are striking, just hanging out, dangling out over this canyon wall. So if you remember that first mirror door, we were looking right at the top of that waterfall. We actually couldn't see it, but there it is, dropping right down the sheer wall. And the bigger one is there. And there's definitely a bunch of condors buzzing around in this canyon i'm sure this creates all sorts of wind effects for them wow stunning canyon i've got the whole world at my fingertips i feel like flying i feel infinite i know that we're the kind to think along some other lines but we'll be fine Come along now, the sky is endless now. We are limitless, we are limitless now. Come along now, the sky is endless now. We are limitless, we are limitless now. The sky is calling, calling out to me. Some new beginnings with end. Possibilities Are you with me? Can you hear me When I sing out? Admittedly, there wasn't much to the trail left. So I turned around and hoofed it back here. <laughs> and I managed to beat snow. Of course, I took a shortcut. But here she comes, coming up the way. <laughs> I'm the winner. I don't know how it happened. Actually, yes, I do know how it happened. I stayed on the path. Somehow, Kurt beat me back to the van, and it's because he cheated. He cut through on a place that we weren't supposed to walk. Now, admittedly, I almost did it, but the rule follower in me wouldn't let me. And now, since I have the only key, he's stuck waiting. <laughs> We got rid of the electric bikes, but that's not going to stop me from going on a bike ride. This is $5 an hour, so I'm going to take it off, take a little ride on the canyon. Bike ride's going good. Not used to pedaling this much though. Those electric bikes make the work a lot easier. But if you watched the last video, you heard me talking about the fact that we've been a little too sedentary for over the last couple weeks. So I need to get in shape anyway. So this is good exercise and works different muscles than just walking. But 
still looking for that elusive bluebird and also there's some other wildlife here there's a few people on the trail but not a lot so who knows maybe we'll get lucky it's not necessarily the right time of day for birds or animals I often say it's better to be lucky than good so fingers crossed we get lucky all right we made it to our first mirror door on the bikes so I was really kind of trying to figure out my orientation but as we looked down we were all the way at the end of that canyon down there looking this way right towards us and to the left is that big waterfall I kept showing you guys and up at the very bottom I don't know if you can see the water splashing but that's the first mirror door so we've come all the way down full circle and what a beautiful canyon and you can see guys it continues to go on and on around the corner and I do think we can hop our bikes and go up a little further so we'll check it out but what a stunning view the first stop on the bicycle was worth the five dollars for the rental I promise you absolutely stunning and amazing we do have a little bit further up to go to the trail we're gonna head up there and see what's next Time is a will that is spinning, always moving on. The moments you think last forever, you look up and one day they're gone. Gotta hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. You see little glimmers of hell from the wasting mound out of sight. All the things this life could offer I know that there's no greater prize Than to hold on, hold on Gotta hold on, hold on Go Two different kinds of lettuces, sweet peppers, red peppers, green bell peppers, garbanzo beans, carrots, a little bit of onion, a tangerine, tomato, heart of palm, drizzled with a sweet chili sauce. Gonna be a healthy, yummy lunch. Kurt is on a bike ride here at this canyon, so his will go in the fridge until he gets back.
We're leaving the park, but not before getting a cute little shot of a little armadillo munching on some grass or something. Whatever they eat. All right, out we go. Back to town. We woke up this morning and it was super cold. It got down to 36 degrees last night. And today is a high in the mid 50s, which actually for hiking is pretty nice, but it's still kind of cool. But what an amazing time we had yesterday. That, that canyon was just off the charts and I got to go mountain biking, so that was super cool. But we're on our way to another canyon today and this one is supposed to offer some unique views that we didn't get from the last one. And so we're super stoked to explore this area. So let's go. We are officially inside of the National Park. Our receipt from the park yesterday worked here. We just showed it to them and we didn't have to pay another fee except for we had to pay $5 to bring the van in here. So parking for the van was 22 reales. So five dollars and fifty cents so but we're almost there once we got into the park the road got pretty darn bumpy it's definitely under construction they're doing some work on it looks like they might have had some rain damage washouts or something so it is slow going this last stretch the free road was beautiful <laughs> this paid road is garbage but they are working on it Hey! <laughs> the van is parked. Here's the trail maps. We're gonna go figure it out. All right, so we got word that this is about a two kilometer hike. So you can see this is where we are here. This is the canyon rim right here. And you can see the condition of the trail. For hiking, this is perfect, but this is... Also what the road looks like. This was exactly what we were driving in on. So you can see it is bumpy, rocky, and well, rolly. <laughs> <laughs> Look here. It looks like we kind of have to take an S curve back here and probably gain some elevation. And I bet there's a trail up on that ridge because we go all the way up to the top there and I think I can see some people standing there peeking out over at the view. All right, this is a first little sidestep off of here to a mirror door. And I can tell you, this canyon is definitely a little bit different than the other one, but nonetheless striking. You can see this one is lined with trees all the way down the wall. There are some exposed granite sheer walls like we saw in the last canyon. And I'll tell you what, no. you can get right up to the edge here. Close enough. And we can hear Please. a waterfall below, although I cannot see it. As I walk up close here to the edge, I can just feel my stomach not up. And as you stare down into the deep abyss of this canyon, uh, you just get a little disoriented because of the depths and all the texture textures you see below so you got to be careful so you all may not been able to see it from the camera angle there but snow was swinging out all the way over the canyon's edge staring into the abyss she was hooting and hollering and loving every minute of it over the edge I think they do have one of those here though. This this was the granny this was the granny swing designed just for snow. <laughs> More our pace guys. We're about to start on this climb uphill. This is the first little bit of altitude we're gonna get right here. So let's climb. All right, we just came up over the top and you can see the Atlantic Ocean over there. Friends, my family, uh, my father's family is living in Portugal. Oh, nice. It's a such beautiful country too. Yes, we're excited to drive the coast, see the big waves. Big waves, yeah. Nazaré. <laughs> What's your channel? Uh, my name is Snow and he's Kurt, so it's Snow and Kurt. So sure. What are your names? Carolina. Pedro. 
Carolina and Pedro, nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. They're from São, São Paulo. Paulo. São Paulo. Jundiaí, São Paulo. Yeah. Is that near the city? Just finished that nice vista. Kind of looking the back way over the ocean. Now we're looking back towards the canyon and climbing up this ridge. More warning signs. Watch the edge, Snow. We're right on the edge. All right, I'm gonna say we're about halfway up. No, I think we're about a third of the way up. But we're going slow and steady. Taking lots of breaks. Still wondering if I'll make it the whole way. But the good news is, coming down will be completely downhill, so there will be no more elevation. So we're still headed up. So we can see the mirror door. We were up there. We could barely, from the mirror door, see the waterfall. But as we're looking down the rock face, it's almost a disappearing waterfall, meaning there's not enough water going over it to reach all the way down to the bottom. It, it, you can see it kind of turns into a mist and then just, just disappears before it gets down there. All right, while you stand here, rest here, I'm gonna go ahead and hoof it down yeah, a little bit. Take your time. If, if I'm not here, I've started the slow walk down. So I'm gonna rest here at this beautiful viewpoint. I cannot think of a better place in the world right now to be. This trail goes on a little bit longer and it skirts this a little wall. There's ropes. I can't get behind those ropes so I don't get too close. So that makes me feel pretty safe. I know my boundaries. A lot of times <laughs> there's no delineation between what you can do and what you can't, but at least here it's spelled out. So we're gonna walk along this crater rim and or this uh the rim of this this canyon and uh just enjoy the beautiful nature. You guys can probably see the condors just catching the air currents and buzzing around there. See? There's a strong mist blowing off the walls of an emerald mountain side. I can hear the canyons calling the soft roar of water falling. Words I know cannot convey the gravity of this peaceful place. The words I know cannot begin to capture standing on this continent, on this continent. I'm up on the roof of the world i'm up on the roof of the world the clouds are shaking here exchanging compliments up on the roof of the world up on the roof of the world i've never felt so small looking out across it all Oh. 
so I can see Kurt on his way back. I'm going to start heading down. He'll easily catch me. Uh, he's shooting some birds over the canyon. Uh, they are landing and taking off right there behind me where I was sitting. What a beautiful and peaceful place to hang out for about an hour while Kurt got a little bit more of an adventure in. We made it to the van, or at least to the parking lot. We decided to stop and get a little snack because it's late in the afternoon and we didn't have lunch. But two amazing canyons, two amazing days. Brazil is off to a booming start. What an epic country. Yeah, and we are excited to share more with you. But this is where we're going to wind this video down. We'll see you guys in a few days. Cheers. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys.